Now I thought I'd start this episode by giving you a quick rundown of the roster, showing you who we still have, and obviously popularity, uh, etc. and rivalries going into the next couple of pay-per-views. So our highest popularity superstar is Tommaso Ciampa. He does have quite low stamina though. But our champions are Tony Storm, who's obviously a recent sign-in. And Kevin Owens. Tony Storm is in a current rivalry right now. She is a heel as well. So we do have a heel babyface selection of champions. Kevin Owens just come off the back of a fantastic rivalry with Finn Balor. Uh, we're going to rest both of them for a little bit now. Because 20 stamina is very low. Keith Lee there. He has a rivalry with Bobby Roode. Now we did mention how low Keith, rival uh, Keith Lee's uh, popularity was in the last episode. That shot up a bit. It, it is quite quick how you can get these popularities up, but they do sink down quite fast too. Because if we take a look down the bottom end here, Rhea Ripley, Shayna Baszler in the 50s. Yeah, it's not looking good, those two, uh, to be fair. Now, in the men's roster, I do think at some point today, we will release a male uh, superstar. And possibly sign another one. I think we've got too many on the roster right now. So maybe we'd even get rid of two. Uh, but for now, no. Uh, if we take a look at the free agents, there are a couple of wrestlers who would be fantastic. Ram Mendoza, of course. He's pretty much uh, NXT in my eyes. Cameron Grimes, he's still there. Billy Kay as well. She would be a permanent fixture if we did sign her up. But not for now. Uh, and we do have, let's take a look at the ratings. We have Kristen Cross in the last episode. They did overtake us at one point. They are putting up a fight. Adam Pearce has a lot of money and he's putting his money where his mouth is, uh, as you can see by the budget set. But we have just recently taken the lead and only by 3,000 fans. Every week is counting. This is basically the Monday Night Wars. Um, we can see here we haven't had any promises that we have to fulfill, but we have booked our least popular superstar in a match because we've already booked the show. Let's take a look at it. It is Matt Riddle versus Kyle O'Reilly. Uh, so that should be a fantastic match. That might even start a, a rivalry too, which I'll be absolutely fine with. I think Kyle O'Reilly hasn't really been in a good rivalry yet. And Matt Riddle's been in a few of them. Self-promo, Tommaso Ciampa. I think we just we capitalise on it. He's not even the champion and he has 85 popularity. He's amazing on the mic. I want to see how high I can take it. Uh, then we have a mid-card match. The Kota Kai and Ripley versus Tony Storm and Baser. This is the tag rivalry that's going on right now. It's a level one. Let's try and get that to level four by the time of the next pay-per-view. And then Bobby Roode doing a self-promo as well. And then the main event, this is a level three rivalry. Shawn Michaels, Samoa Joe. It's a tables match too. If we can get that to level four, then I can just do uh, promos for Shawn Michaels to get his stamina up for the next pay-per-view to big that show up while we're trying to run other other uh, rivalries, I guess. So we're in the big stadium arena. We've got all of our bells and whistles selected for special effects, etc. Uh, the show is going to cost us $190,000, but we have $1.7 million. So we're all fine with the money, and it does look like when you play this game more and more or go further into the future, you always end up with majority of a lot more money than what uh, it would when you only did the 15-week opener then. Riddle Kyle O'Reilly, it's an Extreme Rules match. Riddle wins, he's good at Extreme Rules, and it's a new rivalry, fantastic, great start as well. Uh, Tommaso Ciampa, excellent promo, plus six. That puts him in like 90, and he doesn't even have the belt. I'm sure of it. Ripley and Kai versus Storm and Baszler. Storm and Baszler win. She is the champion after all. Another great match. And it's a level two rivalry. Robert Roode promo. It's only plus two. And Shawn Michaels, Samoa Joe. It's got to be good to defeat that mid-card match. Shawn Michaels wins. It's an amazing match. And the rivalry grows to level four. A very good show, I think. Um, we'll simulate the Raw show. And we'll start looking at theirs a little bit more as we go closer to the pay-per-view. But for now, I just want to see how well we are doing uh, and if we are retaining our fans. We got th two 3.5s and a 4 there, so the show got gradually better uh, and did play out very well. They had a 5-star main event. I'll get out of it. Jinder Mahal and Trent Seven in an Extreme Rules was a 5-star. Come on. Uh, we lost 22,000. I reckon we've dropped down to second. We're still number one. What did they do then? Trent Seven's and Natural Extreme Rules. They lost 20,000 as well. It's mental how you just lose so many fans despite putting on decent shows when you go a little bit further. It's almost as if this game mode is broken. 
Hmm. That is controversial. Right, week 33 then, as we're approaching Survivor Series of all pay-per-views, we have Tony Storm and Baser versus Ripley and Dakota Kai again, uh, trying to get that to level 4 for the Survivor Series pay-per-view. Then we're going to have Kyler Riley calling out Matt Riddle. It's already a level 1. we got low stamina for Riddle, so it's time to give him a little bit of a rest, but we'll still try and do something with his rivalry. Then we have brand new signing Kushida making his debut against Samoa Joe. Now, Joe is obviously in a rivalry with Shawn Michaels, Shawn Michaels we give one week off um, because he has really low stamina and he came and spoke to us so whilst that's still a level 4 we can just give Samoa Joe another match against Kushida uh, who is a new signing obviously Finn Balor is going to do a self promo let's not forget about him he's on 65 popularity for now and then the main event Johnny Gargano versus Keith Lee with Robert Roode doing a run in we have two TLCs that's because we were supposed to have at least one of them and I decided to just do both um, one thing I do need to add, actually, is an interference with Baszler. So what I am actually going to do is take off that, and we're going to do a GM interference with Shayna Baszler, um, and that will keep her happy, and it just annoy everybody else, I guess. Uh, but Dakota Kai still wants a rematch with Tony Storm, which I guess we have to do at some point, maybe in the future, but we need to... How long have we got left on that? It doesn't really have exclusive title match so yeah we just need to make sure we don't give anybody else a match against tony storm before dakota kai which is absolutely fine we can definitely do that tag match then with our interference oh i didn't actually save it so it's just gone to a tlc never mind um it was an amazing match anyway did quite good for the rivalry too ignore it kyle o'reilly calling out riddle it's a good promo i didn't expect too much because kyle o'reilly's only a two on the microphone joe versus kushida in a tables match kushida wins on his debut a good match as well. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Finn Balor. Excellent promo. Plus five. That's just what we needed. He gains a little bit of stamina as well because he's not in a match. Uh, Robert Roode doing the run-in in this TLC match on Keith Lee. And Keith Lee still manages to win. A great match. Uh, does nothing for their rivalry, though. But that's fine. Let's simulate this show. Where did they finish? Oh, they did very well other than the mid-card, which is a tables match between Tyler Bate and uh, Alexander Wolf, but their opener was very good. Their main event matched us, even though it had Mace in it. It was an Extreme Rules match, though. So uh, it does look like they're running with Jordan Devlin versus Akira Tozawa. Okay, uh, we lost 10,000 fans. It's better than what we had previously. Dakota Kai is perfect for TLC matches. Good. We got the two in the moon card, which is fantastic. Um, let's take a look. So they lost 16,000. We gained a lot. They did, however, have a lot of money from that show. They're now up to four million. They, I mean, they got all the money in the world. They got double the money that we have. But we still had the most fans. By the way, thank you for all the love on this series. I hope you have been enjoying it. If you haven't done so yet, please take a look and see if you've pressed that subscribe button. We're getting close to 4,000 subscribers now, but we're getting like 10,000 views. So if you haven't done so yet, please smash that subscribe button. And while you're down there, hit the like as well so this video goes across to more people so that I can continue doing them. I can continue doing more wrestling videos that you can love and enjoy. On to week number 33, then we're in Chicago, which means once again, Montez Ford comes to us and says he wants to fight in front of his home crowd every single time. So he's in a tag match anyway with Angel Dawkins, Finn Balor and Kyle O'Reilly. But we've got Riddle doing the running on Kyle O'Reilly. Finn Balor asked to have a match with Angel Dawkins for some reason. He's getting it. Uh, then the opener is Keith Lee versus Robert Roode in an Extreme Rules match. That's a level two rivalry. We've got two weeks until we can make that a level four. So let's do that. Kevin Owens returns. He's the champion. I'll give him a rest for a couple of weeks. Uh, a very low popularity because we've rested him. The, the popularity just sinks, which is stupid. Uh, he has got a self-promo. And then Johnny Gargano is going to call him out. Now, Johnny Gargano does have a low stamina. Obviously, Tommaso Ciampa has just lost a belt for Kevin Owens. No, it wasn't. It was Finn Balor, wasn't it? But now Johnny Gargano comes in and he wants that belt back. Main event is Tony Storm, Shayna Baszler, this time with my interference, Rhea Ripley and Dakota Kai. Let's run this show. Hopefully we can get those girls a rest after this. We need to actually do the show logistics. So we're going to run the big show. Uh, we do that one because of the bonuses that we're getting. And uh, we don't get a bonus for that one. So we get that one instead. There we go.
Keith Lee, Robert Roode then. Let's see if they can continue their rivalry and boost it up a little bit. Robert Roode does win. Uh, it's an amazing match. Does nothing for the rivalry. Brilliant. Kevin Owens is a good pro. Well, he's back. He is the champion. O'Reilly and Balor with the riddle running. Means Dawkins and Ford wins. And it's a level three rivalry now for Riddle and O'Reilly. That's perfect. Gargano calling out Owens. New rivalry. Excellent promo too. Baser and Storm, Ripley and Dakota Kai with the run-in. Well, the interference at least means that Shayna Baser and Tony Storm wins. And it's a new level four rivalry. That means we can rest them for the Survivor Series pay-per-view. But they seem to be running the same show without any tag teams this time round. So I think we should win this easily, and we do. Four star, three and a half, three and a half. Perfect against whatever they had. We only lost 12,000 fans. We gained a little bit of money, though. What are they doing, then? What are they doing? They lost 27,000, but they seem to gain so much money, and I have no idea how. Their ticket sales paid out, so I'm guessing they're running the big stadium. That might be it. Uh, their network deal is 18,000 and revenue. I, I think they're running the big stadium. That can be the only way that they are making that much money. Big open top stadium. We say our goodbyes to Asuka. It's been a fantastic run. Um, well, I say that. Record is 6 and 10. But still, there we go. Uh, star power of only 2 now. Our popularity is very much gone down. But it's time to freshen things up. I have signed a new wrestler in the name of Kaylee Ray. So I'm really happy to bring Kaylee Ray in. She's also exactly the same as Asuka, a fighter with the same uh, role at the minute. I don't know whether I'll change her into a heel or not. I think she's a better heel. That Scottish accent really sounds aggressive and I like it. She's also better on the mic. So I think that's perfect. Kaylee Ray joins us. She can then get into something after this next pay-per-view, uh, especially with the fact that she matches up really well with Shayna Baszler. Um, and to be fair, she could go for Tony Storm. That's, that's not, let's not deny that. So this show then, our opener is Kyle O'Reilly versus Riddle. It's only a level three right now. Let's try and get that to level four, four Survivor Series. Then we have Kevin Owens calling out Gargano the other way round. You want a title shot, Johnny Gargano? You've got one at Survivor Series. Exactly how he would have said it. Mid card, Tommaso Ciampa and Samoa Joe, Montez Ford and Angelo Dawkins. Then for charity, Kaylee Ray, she announced herself. I'm not going to do a Kaylee Ray impression. Don't get me wrong, I do love a promo. Obviously, I, I have my own, I do my own wrestling. Uh, for Reach Wrestling, you can check that out, by the way. If you want to see me in a match, the link is down below in the description. I do my own wrestling, I do my own promos. I'm not going to do impression of Kaylee Ray because I'm terrible at accents. Then the main event, Robert Roode versus Keith Lee. It's only a level two, but they're giving us four-star matches when we do Extreme Rules. They still have good enough stamina, so if we can get that to level three, pay it off at Survivor Series, happy days. Great pay-per-view. Let's run this event then. This could be an episode where we have a lot of short rivalries, whereas I think the last couple of episodes, we've had ones where they've lasted the full 10 weeks, and we've had them uh, across two pay-per-views. This time round, I think the only one that we might have for that is possibly Kevin Owens. Depending on how well this first match does, Kyle O'Reilly and Riddle. If they can get to a level three, then maybe there won't be a payoff. But Kyle O'Reilly does win. And yeah, there we go. It doesn't. So you tell me. Because I really do think this game mode can be, is so broken sometimes. Uh, Kevin Owens calling out Johnny Gargano. It's good. It's a level two. Uh, Samoa Joe, Tommaso Ciampa, Montez Ford, Angelo Dawkins in a tag team. I'm trying to keep this tag team relevant, but their popularity, even when they win, does seem to go down. It's a new rivalry as well. I don't really want that to happen because Joe and Tommaso Ciampa, mm, a little bit weird. Uh, and obviously, Joe is supposed to be having a rivalry with Shawn Michaels. I really hope that hasn't meant that it's wiped his rivalry with Shawn Michaels because that was a level four. Robert Roode, Keith Lee. Maybe I should have done a call out or something. I could have made a big mistake there. Robert Roode, he calls him out. It's a level three. Lovely stuff. I really want to check that now. I'm really worried. What an opening contest. Jordan Devlin could be the new champion going into Survivor Bloody Series. Oh my God, 4.5 as well. They've, they smashed us. Akira Tozawa is still the champ. Of course he is. He's the best, best wrestler on this roster. He is the best. Uh, we minus 15,000 fans. We gained so much money, though. We ran the open stadium. And I think that's the reason why they're making a lot of money. Because by the looks of it, they, they also lost 15,000. They gained $294,000. I think they're doing the open stadium. It makes sense if they are. 
It's Survivor Series time then, and for some reason, obviously we've had vetoed from the opposing brand, Tony Storm, which means we cannot use a tag team rivalry of level four. Now, we do have four rivalries that will be paying off. However, we don't have any tag teams. Actually, we don't have four rivalries paying off. Kevin Owens, we, he will be in a level two rivalry, and he wants a match tonight. He's asked me to be booked in this show. As the champion, he's going to defend his belt then against Johnny Gargano. Then charity-wise, Faso Champa, uh, keeping up his popularity because it just keeps plummeting. It's so annoying. You bring him up all the way to 19, two shows later, down to 77. Keith Lee versus Robert Roode. It's going to be paying off today in an Extreme Rules match. Kaylee Ray for charity. Uh, then we have a mid-card Kyle O'Reilly versus Riddle. Then we have Kushida trying to start his first rivalry in the company with Finn Balor. Then our main event is that Samoa Joe versus Shawn Michaels. It's still there, level four rivalry. And it is Hell in a Cell um, because we've used the Hell in a Cell card. So... Uh, this is what we can see here. So double the cost. That's what they've given us. Double the cost of opposing brands matches and book opposing brand or block opposing brand from using their most popular superstar. We have used the Hell in a Cell match. We've also used the special effects and we've used the to the moon and we put it on Kaylee Ray. OK, then let's book this show. We are at Survivor Series Arena, Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, we have just short of two and a half mil million fans. It is two and a half million. Uh, and our show itself costs three and a half almost, even though we have special effects for free, which is mental. Okay, Kevin Owens, in this Extreme Rules match, can you defend your title? No, we have a new champion, Johnny Gargano, and it's a level three rivalry. We're going to take that through. Tommaso Ciampa then for charity is an excellent promo. Thank you very much, Tommaso. Keith Lee, Robert Roode. In an extreme rules, Robert Roode wins. Wow. Rivalry complete as well. Kaylee Ray for charity. Excellent stuff. Kyle O'Reilly and Matt Riddle. It's a TLC. It's a one-on-one. -on -one, and Matt Riddle wins. Wow. Amazing match as well. Uh, Kishida. Versus Finn Balor. Excellent pro. New rivalry. There we go. Perfect. And then the Hell in a Cell. This has got to be legendary. It just has to be. It's got to be legendary. There we go. Rivalry complete. Shawn Michaels comes back. Puts on a legendary match. Against Samoa Joe. But this is what we're up against. Trent Seven and Jinder Mahal in the TLC match at the beginning. Which I believe is the branded pay-per-view. The TLC. Uh, they've put on a classic there. Rivalry complete. John Cena's doing a self-promo. Alexander Wolf, which is only a 54 popularity against Tyler Bate, 58. So their popularity is not going too well. Tyler Bate, who looks very sunburnt there. Uh, good promo or good match from them. He wins. T-Bar is calling out Dexter Loomis, who only has a 42 popularity. Clearly hasn't been around a lot, Dexter. Uh, Rey Mysterio versus Mace. Rey Mysterio's stamina is quite low. Only a normal match, though. He should be fine. Rey Mysterio wins. Uh, does that end the rivalry? Rivalry grows to level three. Jordan Devlin doing a self-promo. You've just won the title, Jordan. Now you're only in the, doing a promo on a pay-per-view. Embarrassing. And here is the tag team then. Io Shirai and Becky Lynch versus Tamina and Raquel Gonzalez. Two Giants versus Io Shirai, obviously, is Cruiser. And Becky Lynch is a specialist. An amazing match. Rivalry complete. How did that do against us, though? They beat us in the opener, but we won all of the other three matches there fantastic showing from us and of course that five star match should mean we gain a lot of fans 123,000 it does seem like we're sort of by the time we get to the pay-per-view we've lost all the fans that we've just gained okay so we gained $79,000 we should be still number one we are still number one fantastic they gained 110 so we actually gained more uh and but they had a lot more money so there we go they are trailing us by quite a lot now by about 40 43 maybe no a little bit shorter than that uh so not too bad then right so the week after nxt then we have this opener of tomaso champa and samoa joe versus montez ford and angelo dawkins however well i'm gonna test this now because i'm really curious how like people are having tag rivalries and single rivalries without people who are not in those rivalries to begin with uh so keith lee i'm gonna call him i'm gonna call tomaso champa out 
Keith Lee's got a quartermaster champ out. He has a very high popularity right now. So if they do go into a rivalry, it will be an epic one. Then in the mid card, we have Finn Balor versus Kushida. Of course, Kushida called Finn Balor out last time round. Now they have a match. Kevin Owens doing something for charity. He's just lost his title belt. Uh, and then in the main event, her first match is Kaylee Ray versus Shayna Baszler. Let's make that a special match. We'll do tables and just see if Kaylee, if we can find out what Kaylee Ray's uh, oh, but where well, speciality is uh, match wise. So we've run all our logistics as well. Let's book this show. So the opener then it's a tables match. Joe and Champa, the unlikely parent of Joe and Champa, Dawkins, the Street Profits, Dawkins and Ford win. It's a level two. It's an amazing match though. Uh, so consolations, I guess. Let's see if it works then. Keith Lee, it is a new rivalry. It is a new rivalry, but does it stick around? I guess it does, because Samoa Joe's still stuck around. Kushida, he wins uh, in his uh, first match during a rivalry. It's a level two as well. It's an okay match. I was right not to put that at the start or the end. Charity then, Kevin Owens. Excellent promo there from Kevin Owens. Kaylee Ray versus Shayna Baszler in a tables match. How does this one play out? Kaylee Ray wins on maybe it's her debut I think it's a good match but it's not a new rivalry which does shock me uh Kira Tozawa is defending his championship well no it's the other way around isn't it Jordan Devlin is defended I don't know I can't remember who won uh we'll just simulate it anyway and see what happens they matched just a four star and their main event was amazing Hell in a Cell with Alexander Wolfe and Tyler Bate that is just ridiculous. Kaylee Ray is also good at tables matches. Uh, we lost 21,000 fans, but we did gain a huge profit there. Uh, fair enough. They lost 16,000 and they gained a big profit. So it seems like when you get to this point and you can run the big stadiums, you just have so much money. I mean, it's a shame, obviously, we can't just go and splash it. But still, we've got so much money. Maybe we can sign a new superstar soon. Now, week 37. I am so excited for this week. Because the opener, of Ke again, is Champa and Joe versus Street Profits, level 2. Then Keith Lee's going to call out to Master Champa again after his match. That's going to be an ongoing thing while we get that one up. Maybe we can get this one up. And then whatever one we decide to do at the next pay-per-view, the one following, we already know what's going to happen. Then, the mid card of Riddle versus Robert Roode, but look who's back. Pete Dunne has returned. We've re-signed him after releasing him a couple of episodes ago, and he's going to do a run-in on his old foe, Riddle. Yes, long-term storyline planning at its best. Pete Dunne hasn't been around for ages, like 15 weeks maybe. And he's going to do a run-in on Matt Riddle. Then Kevin Owens is going to do a promo for charity. And the main event is Tony Storm versus Dakota Kai. Because Dakota Kai wants a championship match. But Kaylee Ray is going to do a run-in on Tony Storm. Will that mean that she loses her title belt? There's only one way to find out. So, Joe versus Champa and Joe versus Champa. Joe and Champa versus the Street Profits. Street Profits win again. I reckon one of them's going to come to me in a minute and complain. Level 3 rivalry now. Uh, Keith Lee's going to call out to Master Champa. That was only a good promo. Does nothing for the rivalry. Uh, Riddle versus Bobby Roode. But here is... That's Pete Dunne! He's back! Ah, I love it. I absolutely love Pete Dunne. Uh, fantastic bloke as well. It meant as well that Bobby Roode won the match. It doesn't start a rivalry between Riddle and Pete Dunne. Imagine, I'm going to say it again because as a wrestler, it baffles me. If somebody did a run-in on my match, it would obviously start a rivalry. They wouldn't just do it for no reason. Kevin Owens for charity. Excellent promo. Thank you very much, Kevin. And then Tony Storm versus Dakota Kai. It's a championship match. Kaylee Ray doing the running. Who wins this one? Dakota Kai. Does that mean she is the new champion? I think it does. And Kaylee Ray has a new rivalry with Tony Storm. Great match too. What an ending we have there. Uh, they are running a Jordan Devlin versus T-Bar championship match at the start. Right, we'll simulate it because I'm not seeing that. How do they do it? How is that 4.5 star? I don't get it. Uh, they're beating us and I generally don't know how because, yeah, maybe we have to look at the popularity or something. But we got minus 10,000 there, 253,000 dollars. We got free ring crew booking because we scheduled a run-in. I actually did two, so do you all get two? Probably not. 
Uh, they gained a lot of money, but they lost 12,000. So I think our bonuses are keeping us afloat because we are still winning by 33,000 fans. But we have a new champion, a new women's champion in Kaylee Ray, who retains it, I guess, because uh, she hasn't had it for the last like 10 weeks. But Jordan Devlin and Becky Lynch, it's an all Irish championship there on Raw. Week number 38 then, we have our opening contest. It's that tag team match again. We're going to try and get that to a level four so we can pay it off uh, in two weeks' time. Then Kaylee Ray is going to call out Tony Storm after doing the run-in last week. She's going to tell her exactly why she did the run-in. Mid-card match, we have Matt Riddle versus Pete Dunne. This is in Las Vegas, Nevada, which is Riddle's hometown. Uh, and he has requested a match. He's going to get that in the bruiserweight, Pete Dunne. Call out Kevin Owens versus Johnny Gargano. Obviously, Johnny is our new champion. Kevin Owens is going to call him out, say he wants a bloody rematch. At TLC. Then the main event, Dakota Kai versus, no, Dakota Kai and Rhea Ripley, sorry, versus Tony Storm and Baszler. Look at this. Or, well, three out of the four are tables specials. Yes, the the three out of the four have a speciality in tables matches. So I'm expecting that to be a classic at the very least. So we'll confirm that. Big open stadium will see a classic tables match. In the main event, please. First match, Joe and Champa, Ford and Dawkins. Joe and Champa need a win. Finally, they get a win. I was surprised nobody came and complained last time. It still hasn't done anything for the rivalry, though. Just an amazing match. Just. Just an amazing match. That's all you can give me. So level two, though, from Kaylee Ray. She's very good on the mic. Uh, Riddle and Pete Dunne. Will this start something? They had a great rivalry earlier on in the series. Riddle wins. Does nothing. Wow. Really? Okay. Owens and Gargano. Level four. Takes it to a level four. Fantastic. And then this one. Hopefully this takes it to a level four too. We can pay this off uh, at the next pay-per-view. Shayna and Tony Storm wins. An amazing match. Level four rivalry. Only amazing. Wasn't even a classic. And yet all three of these women are supposed to be tables specialists. Uh, so the opener of Alexander Wolf Tyler Bate. That's still going on. We'll have a look at this one because we've got two weeks now. Uh, to go before we have the next pay-per-view. It's a classic in an Extreme Rules. <sighs> Self-promo is a good one from Trent Seven. We've got T-Bar and Akira Tozawa, Dexter Loomis, Jordan Devlin. That's a random couple of tag teams there. Akira Tozawa and T-Bar win. Uh, great match there. Level 1 rivalry. Lynch and Tamina. Good call-out. New rivalry there. And Jinder Mahal versus John Cena in an Extreme Rules match. John Cena does pick up the victory there. Great match, level three rivalry. So, I think we actually lost that one. Well, we won the main event, but we lost the mid card and the opener. But mm, I don't understand how that's getting a, a, a 4.5 star. Really, really don't. We lost 15,000 fans, but we did gain quite a lot of money there. Same can be said probably for them. Yeah, they lost more fans again. So, we're doing better stuff like bonus feature wise. Uh, because we're starting to pull away ever so slightly now. We're still only within one pay-per-view uh, away, really, from flumping it. Like, if they have an amazing pay-per-view and we don't, they should catch us very easily. That's how tight it is at the top. It's the week before the pay-per-view then. Our opener is, again, this, trying to get it to level four. It would just be that ever so slightly better match if it was a level four, but it is only a normals match. Um, so I think for stamina reasons, I don't want to make it too difficult because I, I think Champa might be struggling slightly. Then we got a sell promo of Keith Lee. He does have a rivalry going on right now with Tommaso Champa, but he's tied up ever so slightly. Kashida versus Finn Balor. It's a level two right now. If we get it to level three, we could pay it off. To be fair, uh, Pete Dunne is going to do a charity promo. And in the main event, Kaylee Ray is finally going to get a match with Tony Storm after costing her the title, obviously, and calling her out there. So making her uh, making herself known on the NXT roster. Now, I have signed one more person for a 10-week contract. I don't think you're going to see him in this episode. I think you're going to see him in the next one, unfortunately. But I think it's a good one. An NXT legend, I think you'll say. This tag team opener then, it just we've run it so many times. It just needs to go to a level four. Please go to a level four. There we go. Right, an amazing match too. Thank you. 
Set off promo of Keith Lee. It's a good promo, plus three popularity. Fantastic for Tommaso Ciampa. He's going to come out of one rivalry and go straight into another one, which is already heated up. Kushida versus Finn Balor. And Finn Balor returns with a victory. It's a level three rivalry too. It's only a mediocre match though. Pete Dunne on the charity duties. 5,000 fans. Thank you, Pete. Kaylee Ray and Tony Storm. It's a tables match too, which they're both good at. And Kaylee Ray wins. Come on. Level three rivalry as well. So, I mean, even Tony Storm, she's going to come out of that one for, with another heated rivalry. Uh, we're going to skip this and see what they managed to do. Did they? Oh, they matched us, but they beat us in the mid card. Their mid card of Io Shirai and Raquel Gonzalez. It just seems that they keep running the same thing because Tamina and Becky Lynch, I'm pretty sure we've seen over and over again too. Uh, that's the reason why we're freshening things up and we're signing new people and potentially uh, going to release a couple at the end of this as well um, after this pay per view. So 14,000 was all we lost. It's it's nice now that we're only losing 14,000. They lost 9,000, so they did gain on us slightly. Uh, but we go into the pay-per-view now where anything can happen for sure. It's TLC then, and we do have some TLC matches, funny enough, playing tonight. Ciampa and Joe versus Ford and Dawkins. Finally, we're going to cross that one off. Then the self-promo of Keith Lee. Uh, obviously, he will be gunning for Tommaso Ciampa after this. Then we have a mid-card match with Tony Storm. In fact, I'm actually going to change that to a call-out because it's only level one. Then at least if we get to that level two, we've got four weeks then to play that out. Then mid-card, Tony Storm and Baszler versus Rhea Ripley and Dakota Kai. Again, that's a level four. A tables match because three of the ladies in this match are really good at them. Riddle is going to do the charity work. Then we have a mid-card match with Balor versus Kushida. Should pay off their rivalry there in a TLC match. Self-promo of Pete Dunne. Uh, let's keep his popularity high, and then we pick something for him to do going forward. Then the main event, Kevin Owens versus Johnny Gargano. It's an Extreme Rules match. It's for the title. Can Kevin Owens win his championship back? Let's find out. Okay, Joe and Champa, Ford and Dawkins. Come on, give us a classic at least. There we go, Champ and Joe wins this one. It's a legendary match. Let's go, five star. Keith Lee, Tommaso Ciampa, level two. Perfect, I made the right decision there. Baser and Storm, Ripley and Kai. What is going to happen here? Dakota Kai obviously winning her championship back. She is also the winner of that match with Rhea Ripley. And it's a classic. I think I've made my mind up now who to release in that women's division. Uh, Riddle for charity. Excellent promo. Brings us in some fans. Bala and Kushida, let's take a look. Kushida's first rivalry in the brand, and he loses it. Finn Balor, uh, rivalry complete, amazing match. Self promo from Pete Dunne, gains free popularity. Thank you. Kevin Owens, Johnny Gargano, Extreme Rules. In the main event for the championship, Kevin Owens retains. No, he doesn't. He wins his NXT championship belt back, and again, it's a legendary match. Well, well, well. Uh, what are they going to run here then? So Alexander Wolf versus Tyler Bate. They've had some great matches. It's an Extreme Rules match. It's a classic rivalry complete. Tamina calling out Becky Lynch, level three. Jinder Mahal versus John Cena. I think they're getting smarter with their rivalries. That's one thing I've noticed as you go a little bit further on. Rivalry complete. Natalia, self-promo, only getting one. Il Shirai Gonzalez. This is usually uh, quite, a, quite a good one that we've seen for... For a long period of time now, only a great match. Becky Lynch, nothing to the rival either. Becky Lynch plus four. Then Loomis and Devlin versus Tiba and Tazawa. Tiba and Tazawa are struggling. This has been an ongoing rivalry as well. Devlin and Loomis wins. It's only a classic. They didn't match our five star in the main event, which means we beat them in every single one by 0.5. Hammered them. We put on a great pay per view. We gained 167,000. That's huge. We're still ranked number one because they only gained 117. There's the colossal gap that we've been waiting for. And now with 10 weeks in between the two factions, well, in between now and Mania, one episode to go, which is tomorrow's episode, we have a massive gap of 80,000. Whoa, we're going to have to do something really bad to royally screw that over. But their Irish champions there are waiting uh, we have Kevin Owens back as our champion. Dakota Kai there as well. Will she keep it? Because now, obviously, we have some new kids on the block. We also have a new sign-in that I think you will definitely enjoy. But 
I'll save them for tomorrow. Thank you very much for watching. Please smash a like on the video if you can. And like I mentioned earlier, if you haven't decided to subscribe yet, I don't know what's don't, I don't know what you're waiting for. This weekend we will have a WCW only roster for my GM mode, uh, which probably will be Saturday or Sunday. I don't I haven't decided what day it is yet. So make sure you're subscribed. Turn on those notification bells so you don't miss it. And I'll see you for that episode tomorrow where you find out who we signed and as we go all the way through to WrestleMania. Bye-bye.